divided by two things. I am equally not only worried, I am studying on environmental issues for last one year and it takes me to other parts of globe also. Most of us don't realize that the Mars and in the next four and a half years may reach the tipping point where there is no coming back to present day situation. Like most of the ice sheets in the Antarctic and Arctic region is cracking. And cracking in the will be sounds I think there is a very close approximation of anything between 70 meters to 200 meters in the next one decade. If that happens, let's not hope that it's going to happen. We talked of the carbon content in the atmosphere has gone up three times of pre-industrial level. That includes automobile pollution, industry pollution, and waste. This because the carbon sinks capacity is going down and the carbon source capacity is going up. The two factors. We are about to reach one trillion carbon contents in the atmosphere. And today we have close to 700 billion tons of carbon in the atmosphere. Right now, in the entire atmosphere, once it reaches one trillion, trillion, as you all of you must be knowing, let's get rid of let's get rid of the mind. One million is equal to, all of you know, standards. One thousand million is equal to one billion. And one thousand million is equal to one trillion. So we are just going to reach in few years now one trillion carbon content and there is no coming back. So he said, he said, let's be frank, let's be honest. Is a point we are going to reach a point of no return. And if the wonderful book in the market, The Last Generation, by Fred Pierce, which, which is just it's nothing but a compilation of all scientific science researches, as a researchers by scientists, and it calculates what we are going to be because they say this generation is going to be the last generation. In terms of, you know that earth will vanish or you will vanish or I will vanish, but the state... Thank you very much.